Hello there and thank you so much for joining me here for another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Anais and this is 100 Days of Kubernetes, the challenge where we aim to learn something new related to Kubernetes across 100 days and me sharing it with you here right on my YouTube channel. Now, I talked in lots of videos before about uh, Kubernetes checks, Kubernetes manifest checks, Kubernetes configuration checks with a tool called Daytree. Now, in this video, I want to elaborate a bit more and show you really the power of custom rules, setting up custom policy checks, custom rules with Daytree in that case to check your custom resource definitions in Kubernetes for misconfigurations. <laughs> Now, what are custom resource definitions in Kubernetes? In the Cloud Native ecosystem, we have lots and lots of different tools. And a lot of these different tools extend the Kubernetes API. They built upon the Kubernetes API. With Kubernetes, you have a set of predefined resources, such as pods, deployments, services that are part of the Kubernetes API. Now, those applications, they say, hey, we build upon it, we expand it, so you can run our application on top of your Kubernetes cluster. You can manage our application like any other application you manage on top of your Kubernetes cluster. It has the same kind of configurations, policies, access rights, and so on as part of running on top of your Kubernetes cluster. Amazing, right? That's the real power behind Kubernetes. However, the problem is here when we use some of those tools, such as Argo CD, Crossplane, that I use heavily in my demos, we have to set up custom Kubernetes manifests. We have to specify Argo CD rollouts and a rollout YAML file. We have to specify our custom infrastructure resources for Crossplane and set up our custom manifests to manage those and to find those. Now, in that case, we set them up really specific, usually to our organization, to our use cases, to what we actually want to do with those custom resource definitions. Now, the thing is, once we scale beyond our first YAML manifests, our first applications, and we want to use those custom resource definitions, set up those custom tools and use their resources and so on, we explore or we, we go into unexplored terrain. We use basically and define Kubernetes YAML manifest that probably a few of us or nobody else might be using like that. Now, that could still be okay if we're the only one who's setting up those YAML manifests and use them. However, once we scale beyond just us doing that, but actually as a team where everybody kind of contributes to it, is changing the YAML manifest and so on, we want to have checks in place. We want to ensure that we can automate the checks of our, all the, our labels defined that have to be defined in those custom resource definitions, those Kubernetes manifests. Are all the fields defined like we want them to define? Are all the constraints in place that somebody maybe define something that shouldn't be there? and so on. So we want to make sure that people can't just go ahead and deploy anything on top of our Kubernetes cluster. And that can be done with day three and day three custom rules. Now, I have here a Kubernetes cluster and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So I have here my Cibo account and on the Cibo account, I have this demo environment uh, cluster running. Now in my terminal, I'm connected to exactly this demo environment cluster, kubectl, get notes and I see here all of the notes running within my cluster. Now I also have kubectl get namespace, spin up my cross plane resources that I need to ultimately deploy um, the Zivo provider and use cross plane and spin up a Kubernetes cluster on Zivo through cross plane. Now if you're curious on how that works, I highly suggest you to check out one of the previous meetups I did, link below, or the blog post that I wrote for the Zivo guides where it details how you can actually use the Siva provider and crossplane. Now, this is not the main focus of this video, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what, uh, how you can set up those custom rules to make sure that you uh, basically check your custom resource definitions. So next, we're going to go ahead and get all in namespace crossplane system. And this is everything that's running right now. Now, this is all by Crossplane, right? I just did Helm install and this installed the Helm chart uh, for Crossplane. So everything is already installed and this just basically comes directly from the Crossplane um, 
documentation. So I just followed the installation steps for the self-hosted crossplane. That's all I did. That's over here detailed, right? And Crossplane is responsible to make sure that this Helm chart is correctly configured. And there's an entire community behind it. Now, when I want to use the Zevo Crossplane provider, that's over here. This is the Zevo Crossplane provider. And I have to install custom resource definitions that I set up. And these are with an example section over here. Now, first we want to set up our Zevo um, Crossplane provider so we can actually use it. So I can show you how it works as well. So we're going to go ahead and just specify we want to use the Zevo Crossplane provider on top of that cluster. Now, the thing is that next we have to give Crossplane a few custom resources. In those custom resources, I have an example folder. I go to Zevo and within Zevo we have three folders. We have a provider that basically tells uh, our crossplane resource or crossplane provider how to access your Zivo account. So we specify our API key and we specify our provider config. Now I have that already set up over here within this file. I have to set up. This is my encrypt that um, API key and I'm just going to give this file now to my account. That's all I'm going to do now. So I'm going to say in my terminal, um, kubectl apply file manifests and then provider.yaml. And we're just going to apply this so Crosspaint knows about our secret and about our provider config. So this is all done. This is pretty standard when you use the Sivo Crosspaint provider. However, the next part is not too so standard. This is uh, pretty straightforward. Sivo Kubernetes YAML manifest that basically uses the Sivo Kubernetes resource from the Sivo crossplane provider to create a Sivo Kubernetes cluster on my account. Now this is done through this provider YAML file. Now the provider YAML file is pretty straightforward. It just basically is the provider config and a secret for the provider config that tells crossplane how can you access the account? How can you access my Sivo account through the Sivo API? So once we have deployed everything, Crossplane and the provider, and we want to go ahead and give Crossplane on that cluster that we just saw, this cluster the YAML file to create a new Kubernetes cluster on Zivo. Now the thing is, this YAML file that specifies the Zivo Kubernetes cluster can look pretty different between different organizations, different teams. In this case, I specified this first Crossplane, that's the name of the cluster, can has five instances, of size large with these applications installed and it has this label test environment label now i don't actually want to allow people to create a cluster with five instances that are also large there are very few cases where people need for their test cluster where they will need um, five instances that are that large so i want to specify my custom rules my policies for uh with the tree of that people can't do that, that people are not allowed to specify that kind of cluster and deploy that kind of cluster through Crosspain. So in this case, I'm specifying here first my staging environment, then my production environment. And that's something we saw in one of my previous videos. So check out my previous video if you have seen that for the first time now. This is basically how you define already the in-house day tree um, policies that you want to use for different environments. Now, we want to define custom policies, custom rules. And here are three different custom rules that we want to define. First, cluster size, then cluster instances, and environment labels. Now, here we specify custom cluster size. You can use a small cluster or a medium cluster. Those are the two different clusters that you're allowed to use on that cluster YAML file and deploy to Crossplane to deploy the, uh, the Kubernetes cluster, actually. You're not allowed to use a large one. And then it can be of these instances. Now you can also specify a minimum and a maximum. There are several examples on the DTree documentation how you can do that. And then it should either be production, staging, or test environment. Now let's go ahead and test our cluster YAML file. But first we have to publish our custom policies to DTree. So as we say DTree, publish our policies YAML file and it's now sent to my DTree account through the DTree token that's here saved within the day tree CLI. Now, next I'm going to go ahead and I say uh, day tree test 
I want to test my cluster YAML file in my manifests folder with the policies that are named crossplane. And I want to ignore the missing schema because crossplane right now doesn't know about Civo Kubernetes, that that's a schema that's defined. So let's go ahead and test this file and see if it passes our custom rules that we've defined so far. Now, as you can see, out of our three custom rules, two failed and one passed. Now, which ones are the one that failed? Ensure correct cluster size is used. So we didn't use the correct cluster size. It has to be small or medium. So we're going to specify that. And limited number of instances are used. So we want to have three instances actually instead. We don't want to allow five instances. Now let's go ahead and after we corrected our cluster YAML file with the correct values that are allowed to be deployed, and that will pass hopefully our, <laughs> our check. Let's see if it actually passes our check before we go ahead and give that cluster YAML file to our cross-plane uh, resources running within our current Kubernetes cluster. And as you can see now, our total rules, three out of three actually passed. And we can go ahead and we can open this URL that we get and we go to our D2 account. Now, as you can see, I have three different policies, policies files that I can specify to find. Now, the staging is the default one, then I have the production one, and then I have the cross pen one. With the cross pen one, you can see that the default ones are all inactive. But here's one, a custom rule that is active. And here are two more custom rules that are active. So I can see here my three custom rules actually within the UI. Now, if you want to get started with custom rules, you have to actually go to your settings and within your seconds, you have to turn on the custom rules over here. You have to toggle it on and then you can download the policies.yaml file that has default policies defined. Um, and that's basically how you can use that. Now you can see here my Gmail. Uh, let's go back to my policy section. And now that our YAML file passes, we can go ahead and we can deploy it. So we can say kubectl apply file manifests and it's the cluster yaml file cluster dot yaml and we're going to go ahead and give this to our kubernetes cluster that runs crossplane and crossplane can then do its magic and communicate with the sivo api to create in my sivo account this new first crossplane kubernetes cluster that we just defined and that we checked that it's correctly defined so now it's going to go ahead and create that cluster so we can open that up over here, we open up our Sivo account again. We go to our Kubernetes clusters. And now we should pretty soon see our Kubernetes cluster being created. Let's wait a second. Now, this is it for today. I hope it was useful. If you do prefer the written tutorial, link below in the description is a blog post which details everything that I just did. Now, if you have any questions, if anything does not work, please jump into our community chat on Discord, also link below. If you're into DevOps and if you want to have amazing content on a weekly basis from across the space, from amazing people across this industry, right to your inbox on a weekly basis, then subscribe to my weekly newsletter, also linked below. Now, I hope to see more of my upcoming videos. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.